Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you're new, please subscribe if you like good vibes. So today I wanted to show you guys five stretches that are really good for lower back pain. Because if you're anything like me, you may just spend more hours in a day at a desk than you like or maybe you're just not as active as you used to be. Maybe you're just getting up in age a little bit. So you're starting to feel some aches and pains in places that it wasn't there before. Any of this sound familiar? If so, you're gonna find today's video really helpful or I really hope that you do. I'm gonna be sharing five stretches that will hopefully help to alleviate some of that pain. I'm not saying that it's gonna eradicate the pain altogether and that you're gonna wake up tomorrow feeling like a million bucks. But if you practice these stretches on a daily basis, it will help to alleviate some of the pain. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Hey smileys, hey. The quarantine tin is real, people. I have got to work on this body. But today, we're just stretching. So stretching the muscles in your lower back can improve flexibility and alleviate lower back pain, which is extremely common. Some research suggests that you only need to stretch for 15 minutes every day to see an improvement. So if you're super busy and don't have a lot of spare time, Start with 15 minutes a day. This first stretch is a knee to chest stretch. You just lay flat on your back on the floor, then simply, then simply pull one knee towards your chest. Hold the position for 30 to 60 seconds, then switch legs and repeat on the other side. Easy. This one is also called a glute stretch because that's the muscle that it actually works on. I started doing yoga last year and quickly realized that I was not as flexible as I used to be, so I decided to start stretching on a daily basis to improve my flexibility. This next stretch is called a wig wag, cute name. You can do this one with both legs at once or you can do one at a time as seen here. For this one, you just lie on your back and bring in one knee with your arm out to the side. Twist the bended knee, dropping it to the right, and hold that position for 15 seconds, and then repeat on the other side. Be sure not to overextend yourself. Stop when you feel a stretch in your lower back. Repeat this back and forth movement for one to two minutes. This stretch is really good at loosening up the muscles in your lower back with this gentle twisting motion. So not only am I not as flexible as I used to be, I also have a sedentary job, which means I work from a desk most of the day, which we all know is not ideal for the lower back. And another thing I learned from yoga is that I need to work on strengthening my core to improve my balance and stability. Strengthening the core also helps with lower back pain. Regular stretching helps increase the range of motion in our joints. It also improves blood circulation and posture. So doing it on a daily basis has many benefits. Next is a hamstring stretch. I did this one a lot as a dancer in high school and believe it or not, I even used to be able to do a split. Seriously. For this one, in a seated position, extend one leg straight. Position the foot of your opposite leg resting against your upper thigh. Keeping your back straight, reach towards your ankle or foot gently. Hold the position for 30 to 60 seconds, then switch sides and repeat. There are many different hamstring stretches. Hamstring stretches improve the range of motion in the hip specifically. This helps us perform basic daily tasks such as walking up and down the stairs and bending over.
Next is the piriformis stretch. So this is one of my favorites. A lot of times I can hear a pop or crack in my back while doing this stretch. I love this one. There are many different ways to stretch your piriformis. One is the stretch seen here. You get into a sit-in position, straighten your right leg and then cross your left leg over it. Then twist your body to the left until you feel a slight pull on your piriformis muscle. Start by holding this position for just a few seconds and gradually increase the time to 30 seconds max. Then switch sides. A tight piriformis muscle can be caused by vigorous workouts or an accident among other things. The key is don't overdo it. If it starts to really hurt, stop immediately. Finally, the cat cow, which is a classic yoga pose that gently stretches the muscles in the lower back. I also, I also learned this one during yoga class. You start it on all fours, facing the floor with your back straight. As you take a deep breath in, drop your belly towards the floor, rounding your spine into a U-shape, for the cow position. Next, slowly breathe in, drawing in your stomach and arching your spine into an in position or in shape for the cat position. Gently switch between the two positions about 10 times. And that's it. So then I typically just finish up with a couple of slow neck rolls and sitting toe touches just to ease out of my stretches. As many as 80% of adults will experience back pain at some point in their lives. So if you're one of them, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you like good vibes. See you in the next one. Mwah.